Oh god, how did he get up here so fast? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, maybe I can find him alone up here, though. It's a little risky. It's kind of a small area. I have to make sure- oh, I missed. <laughs> I have to make sure the guy doesn't, like, show up behind me, though. Mm, I have doubts about this. <laughs> okay, let's buff. And then I don't know what's over... Actually, I think I remember what's over past this way, so I want to be careful about going too far that direction, too. Oh, he's so big. <laughs> the camera. The camera is struggling. I already see the ring knight over there. <laughs> Definitely do not want to aggro him, please. All right. Good shit. Thank you for not intervening, sir. He's very polite. What was that? Who just died? Somebody just died. <laughs> okay. We take those. Boss fruit. Um, I guess we'll just fight this one up alone, because that, that one at the bottom is not going to come all the way up here unless I aggro him, so... If I stay here, it should be okay. That didn't even hit. There we go. Oh, that that uh staggers too, I guess. Or not as well as the R2, but Yeah, just having a guaranteed stagger against these guys makes them a lot easier. Just means you get a free hit and then plenty of time to dodge afterwards. So much defense. All right, I think we are good to go talk to this person behind the door. Okay. Speak thee the name of God, thine own God, if thou canst recall. Okay, I already know what to do here, but <laughs> my thought process was like, Okay, the other person who asked me to state my allegiance sounded like he didn't give a shit. She sounds a little stuck up. So I'm gonna say, let's lie to her and say like, yeah, I'm here for Gwyn, yo. Well, and that's not forgotten. Perhaps is why we may converse. I am known as Shira, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. Please, I bid thee take not from the princess her peace or rest. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark? All for the sake of man. All for the sake of man. So she's the only character we've met so far that's like allegiant to Gwyn still after all this time. Kind of interesting. But uh, I think 
think she might be kind of full of it because she's the one hiding up inside of a door and then saying that it's like all for the sake of man. We know that's not true. <laughs> a kind heart to speak to a captive such as I. It is no surprise thou rememberest our God. Captive. May I ask thee a kindness? Perhaps thou hast beheld the lone dragon that inhabiteth this city. Medea is his name. And the arch dragon that his forebears. He once railed against the dark, but was by dark afflicted. Now here, returned, he remaineth to watch over the sleeping princess, true to the old accord. And yet, I would have thee put the dragon to rest before the dark consumeth him, and his vows are forgot. Except for quest. Sincerest gratitude. Thou who art kin to God's name. Please, take this. Sacred chime of Philianor. Most terrible of thee. May this token of thanks be of aid. So she wants us to put down the abyss dragon. <laughs> We're doing it again. Already. Another DLC, another abyss dragon. Uh what does she give us? Uh, Bell of Philianor, where the fuck is it? Oh, is it a- is it a chime? Yes. A sacred chime blessed by Princess Philianor herself, matriarch of the church. Philianor's favor knows no boundaries, and this sacred chime expands the range of vicinity, affecting miracles that heal, cure, or provide other enhancements. So any, like, AoE spells, I guess. <clears throat> Pray for favor. Works with chime equipped in left hand or right hand. Heal HP very slowly for a duration of time. Affects caster and those in vicinity. Okay. And then she wants us to go find this Madeer. Madeer. And put him down. Because he's like a good... He's a good... He's a good boy, but... So is Artorius. And the abyss got to him. <laughs> um. So a character that... Already, instead of the other guy we talked to, the bug dude, she she is still of the belief that the abyss is terrible. It's like fucked up. And Madeir was too, I guess he fought it. Dude, these guys have so much health, though. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Shit, I always forget to wait to roll on that second one. Well, we accomplished something by talking to a lady. <laughs> That's progress. Uh, I think this time I might go up the... I'm gonna see how well I can just run past these guys. Um, I'm gonna go up the bridge where that ring knight was. Just from the get-go. And then we can just run past... the big boys again. They have too much health, I'm not gonna try to fight them again. So much fall damage. Oh, I can't wait to get the Elden Ring. <laughs> I was like four feet. Like a four foot drop. Now, to be fair, if I dropped four feet in real life, my ankles probably hurt a little bit too, but. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't think he saw us. Nice. Oh, dude, those guys can get us from here. <laughs> Are you serious? Shit! Oh, uh, so much damage!
And so little stamina. Alright, I don't think they saw us. Oh, no, he totally did. Can we, can we lose him? Okay, we lost him. Good. <laughs> Let's go back to the scythe, because that is just better for the ring knights. I could wear Havels, honestly, to like, just let me switch between them easily. I mean, we're not really using our mir miracles very much, to be honest. But I could try to use them more. Uh, we can talk off. No, I need Chloranthes, and then these are actually helping us a lot with damage. Um, I'll take this off for now. I just probably won't remember to put it back on, so that's why I'm hesitant. <laughs> Let's put Havels on, and let's see if we can just put both on, so I don't have to switch all the time. Nope. <laughs> Havels isn't enough. Damn it. Uh, where? There we go. Oh well. Do these guys bleed? They do. Oh, he's gonna do the big combo. Uh, we haven't fought it actually, but that, that exact combo he uses is really similar to a combo the final boss in this game uses. Which uh, is pretty relevant lore-wise. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, it could just be a coincidence, but... It's like a five-hit combo exactly like that. And they are followers of Gwyn, and... Yeah, the final boss is pretty Gwyn-related, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. We're getting invaded by an NPC. Seeker of the Spurned. Okay. Where is he? Is he over here? Oh, hello. He was hiding. <laughs> oh, holy shit. There's the there's the guaranteed two hits I was talking about a while ago. <laughs> With these big weapons. So fun. So interactive. <laughs> Good damage, though. dead. <laughs> At least I get guaranteed two hits. It just doesn't do nearly as much damage, because even like a player. But the, I mean, the free to side is pretty good, to be fair, in PvP. I feel like. Black Witch Garb. Ooh. The purple garb of the Witch Zuli, who intended to seduce Alva the Wayfarer, who is the guy we just fought, but eventually became his closest supporter, spending her entire life with him. It is said that Zuli the Witch, who was never loved nor loved another, experienced all manner of misfortune, and yet in the end found her purpose in life. This is one of my favorite sets in the game. It looks really good. <laughs> it's like a really good dress. Uh, it looks really good on like sorcery centric. Because I, I one time I did like a um, build with uh, where I was only using sorcery and faith miracles. And like in, like in lieu of an actual like weapon at all, and it was a good set for that because it just I don't know it just fit the aesthetic really well. I like that one. All right, back to the back to the hell hole. <laughs> Is that right in there? No. Got to check all these crevices. Make sure we're not missing nothing. Oh, okay, he just goes and hides there. Is that... Oh, yeah, he just goes over there. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. 